previously on the move. Our contestants hit the pool to dive into fitness. It was a close race, but blue team took it by a whisker. Will the red team catch up? Who will be crowned the victor in our season finale of On The Move? Hi, I'm Paul Peterson and welcome to On The Move, where we have a whole new take on seniors becoming active and getting fit. We're gonna have some fitness fun today because as you can see, we've come down to the beach. With us every step of the way has been Dr. Scott Kaiser, a physician who specializes in geriatric medicine and has dedicated himself to help all of us become more active and to stay fit. So Dr. Scott, take it away, get us on the move. Our contestants have taken tremendous strides towards health and have had a great time along the way. We started with 12 couch potatoes, and with a little hard work and a lot of fun, they're really moving. I hope you're as inspired as I am by this amazing transformation, and that you see that it's possible to make these changes in your own life. You too can get on the move. On the move! On the move! Here we are on this beautiful beach day, breezy beach day, for some more fitness fun. We've had a great time getting out there, trying all these different ways to get active and get fit. We set goals, we made plans, and we've achieved amazing results. This might be the final episode, but it's really just the beginning of a lifelong commitment to health. Getting active, staying active, living longer, living better. Now, to help us find our balance, to help us strengthen our bodies and our minds. Our very own special health coach is on the move, Amelia and EJ. You just want to keep in mind whether it's at the pool, going for a walk in a park, in your gym, or if it's going out dancing. We want to keep the fundamentals that we've been learning all this time in our exercises. fundamentals is amidst all the hectic things that we go through in our day, we still have to be able to find a way to find some peace and calm. And for today's activity, we are going to be doing some yoga. Now to help us learn those yoga moves, we have a yoga instructor named Chief Nove. Let's give her a round. that first step get out there and on that move keep walking keep going there's nothing else better than that now move the arm away from your face inhale exhale right leg step back inhale exhale left knee bend hold it this is called warrior one you can get on the move and fight heart disease Inhale, exhale, lift, inhale, exhale. Just get up, get out of that house, and get on the moon. Inhale, exhale, lift up. Inhale, exhale, hand to chest. And now, a brief message from our friends at the Fall Prevention Center of Excellence at the University of Southern California Andrus Gerontology Center. The activities presented in On The Move can help you stay active. Another key aspect of staying independent is preventing falls. Falls are the number one cause of injury, hospital visits, and death from an injury among people age 65 and older. Being physically active on a regular basis is an important part of fall prevention. 
Exercises that improve your balance, strength, flexibility, and endurance are most effective at reducing fall risk. Talk to your doctor or a physical therapist about any falls you've had and to find out what exercises best match your abilities. For more information, visit the Fall Prevention Center of Excellence's website at www.stopfalls.org. Again, mountain pose. Breathe the fresh air. Hand to chest. Inhale. All the legs turn to that direction. Okay. Inhale, if you're out there like me and you haven't gotten out of your, you know, couch potato state, do it. You don't have to like change your life overnight. Just start moving. This time you don't move your knee. This is called triangular pose. You're going to extend it, reach over slowly. If you can, put your hand on your thigh. And not, now try not to look at the sun, kind of tilt your head at the sky. Keep moving and keep doing exercise. Everybody, Everybody let's, let's go, go on, on the move. <laughs> Arms swing forward and look up. Inhale, exhale. Step, step, inhale. Get on the move because I see the big difference in me and you can do it too. You don't have to have hip problems and knee problems and arm problems. You can work it out. I did. I think we should tell everybody to keep on the move. And now for our final team challenge. Our contestants have faced many challenges to become active and get fit. Now it's their turn to tell us why we should get on the move. Let's hear from the blue team. Hello, ladies. Hello. My name is Shore. You're going to have a great time. I've gotten better and better, and so will you. So good luck. <laughs> it's been a real motivator. I hate exercise. I was a beach bunny when I was a kid when other girls were out there surfing. This has really made me accountable. It's made me really keep track of what I'm doing. We have our Fitbits here that keep track of our steps and we're really trying to reach our goals. And it's made me explore new avenues outside of my usual routine. I found a really fantastic Zumba class. And I think best of all, I've made some really great new friends. Hey ladies, I am Aveda. And I just want to invite you and encourage you to get on the move. My knees don't hurt, the hip does not hurt. <laughs> so I'm dancing, having a wonderful time. And you have to find the kind of exercise that works for you. The dancing, the walking, the great, you know, but some of us like to swim and some of us wanted to go and work out. Get out there and get started. You'll feel better for it. I'm free of pain already because of that. Wow. All right. I got on the move six weeks ago, and I feel better, I feel younger, and if you get on the move, someone might make a move. <laughs> You're in the right place, and I'm going to tell you that you can take charge of your own health, and that's right. really the thing to do, and you do that by getting on the move, and I was just where you were. But now, I've started taking the steps in my building, and I used to take the elevator from the first floor to the second floor. <laughs> and it's a miracle, and it can happen to you too, so get on Now, let's hear what the red team had to say when they talked to our guests. Yay! Our team is what? Red! Our team is what? R-E-D-A-N-H-O-T -E Ha! Red hot! Let once, once we start, we can't be stopped! Hi, I'm Mary. The hardest thing for me is to get started. So what I'm saying to you is what works for me. Get out of bed, get dressed, put on those tennis shoes, and take that first step. Hi, you ladies. If, if you are like me, young and energetic, <laughs> with this program, I am able to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, walk up and down the stairs for one hour, 
and then walk two hours. Oh and that is helping me to control my diabetes, and my high blood pressure, my cholesterol. So you can do it, I invite you to be on the move. Yeah. When I started on the move, I said, hmm, now what can I do to make me get some steps? So I started going to the mall. I wasn't shopping. I started walking the malls, walking the escalators. Now I'm all mall food. <laughs> Hi, I'm Elkie. And I'm so glad I went on the move because I was so obese and I really wanted to lose weight because I, it's gotten so hard to get off the table. You had to put yourself off because your big butt and stuff, you know. <laughs> and I did it. I lost 10 pounds. <laughs> This was me six weeks ago. This is two. When I started, I had high blood pressure and high cholesterol. But now, with On The Move's help, I'm off meds, and my cholesterol is really down. So you can do this too, On The Move. My stomach had gotten like this. And once I started the program, I'd be out there walking. I had shoulder aches, knee pains. I was just a mess, but now I am in the mood and want all of you guys to get on the move. All right. Red Hot Sizzle. Wow, that red team cheer was red hot. Way to go, red team. Let's see what our judges thought of that. Well, you know, we thought you both were great. Oh. You're awesome. And it was a hard decision because we were so inspired by both teams. You know, everybody had a good story about what happened with them and how they've advanced and they inspired us to get on the move. We're ready to get on the move. But we had to pick the red team because they gave us really specific information about different conditions that they had. So we picked them. And I think we got kind of caught up with the sizzle. <laughs> Team, you've won this week's team challenge. Now, to see how we've all done individually, it's time for each of you to upload your activity data into the Health Vault, and we'll see you at the checkpoint. Each week at our checkpoint, we review your profiles and take a look at your accomplishments, the ways you've improved, and a few of those inevitable setbacks. Okay, let's review the stats. We'll start with the blue team. Mariko. Step forward, please. Okay, what are the results? 12,000 steps a day now. You had started out strong. You were doing 10,000 in the beginning, but you kept it up and then you even improved a little more. Your progress has been so inspirational and you're keeping it moving. Are you ready to stay on the move? I'm gonna try. Stay yep. on the move. Leveda, you're averaging 11,000 oh, steps wow. a day. Great. 11,000 <laughs> steps a day. You had one week where you dropped down a little bit, but for the most part, you've been able to now keep it up over your 10,000 step a day goal. How does it feel? Feels great. It's feel great. You know, I, I worked hard, but uh, you know, I had really got into it. There was one day when I was not feeling really like walking, and then I looked at my Fitbit, I had like 3,000 steps. Yeah. I was, oh my God, I gotta go walk. I walked up and down the street. Yeah, that's <laughs> Until I got my steps well, in, and I feel better for That's it. the whole point yes. of it. All right, now James had significant improvement. Yes, James. Your daily average is 10,000 steps. Staying you. on your goal. What, what was it that helped you keep going, even in those weeks where you had those setbacks? How did you keep moving? Well, after I started feeling better, the girls started looking better, so I have to go. <laughs> okay, sure. Your daily average is 10,000 steps as well. Keeping it at the goal, 10,000 steps a day. You are on the move, and you're on the move for life. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you me. very Thank you. much. And now David? David did 7,000 steps oh, per day. Starting David. from nothing. Right. Since the 1980s. Right. You bring out the whole exercise diva, find a whole new persona, <laughs> and you're at 7,000 steps a day, and that doesn't even tell the whole story because you have the steps. You, you, you tell us about all those flights of stairs. Well, it's unbelievable because I didn't even, you know, I wouldn't walk one flight. I took the elevator. I live on the fourth floor, and 
The only time I've used the elevator since we began the show was when I took my laundry into the basement. <laughs> but other than that, I've been on those steps every time I have to go out, every time I come in, and uh, I can't believe it, well, actually. It, it actually is fantastic. And wasn't it also helpful to have the support of your teammates and the new friends? I don't think I would have been able to do it. Uh, it's just that exactly. simple. Lillian, you are averaging 22,000 steps per day. Incredible. 22,000. 22,000. You're a walking machine, consistently walking over 20,000 steps for weeks in a row now. I mean, this is fantastic. How do you feel? I feel great. <laughs> and now to help you get on the move, a quick word from our Department of Aging. The City of Los Angeles Department of Aging provides federal, state, and locally funded programs and services for the city's seniors and family caregivers. Most of the department's programs and services are provided through its 16 multipurpose senior centers, which are located throughout the city as far northwest as Northridge, and as far south as Wilmington. Seniors are welcome to visit any of our senior centers, but if they want to take advantage of specific services, such as transportation, home delivered meals, and care management, they should contact the center that serves the zip code they live in. You can call 1-800-510-2020, that's 1-800-510-2020, to find out which senior center serves your zip code. All right, now from the red team, we'll begin with Gloria. 15,000 steps per day. You came in strong and you kept it going, 15,000 steps per day, working towards your goal, walking to prevent heart disease, walking for your family. How does it feel? It feels great. I feel better than I felt in years. Mary. You had a special issues and you've dealt with them. How are your knees? How are your hips? How are you feeling? Well, I was told that my knee would never get better, but I'm doing more with it. So that's great. And yeah. that's one of the reasons I wanted to be on the move. Your daily average is 5,000 steps per day. You incrementally increased it, listening to your body, right. adapting at each point along the way. I mean, this is an inspiration. If you, if we're not seeing this out there and getting on the move after this, I don't know what we'll get. <laughs> I mean, this is incredible. Well, it, thanks to all of you and all of them. Congratulations. Yay. James D. Well, James, you're averaging 12,000 steps per day. <laughs> well, did you surprise yeah. yourself? <laughs> yes. Per day. Yes. You know, you started out around 5,000 steps per day, and wow. you just kept staying at it, increasing, increasing, keeping at it, keeping at it. And now I understand you just have a whole new lifestyle. Walking, getting up, jogging. You try to jog, okay. well, but we I'm walking a lot, get out of bed in the morning, and I just walk. Oh, that's Thanks fantastic. to the team, you guys, the team, on the move! <laughs> great. Elke, who has really made some great progress, lost weight. Yeah. yeah. So are you staying at it? Oh yeah, now it became a habit. Yeah. You know, every morning we walk. That's perfect. Yeah. Four That's miles. Perfect. Well, those four miles are making a difference because you're doing 12,000 steps per day. Fantastic. 12,000 <laughs> steps great. per day, exceeding the goal consistently keeping at it, you're seeing results. I understand you had to get a, a new t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's two sizes smaller. Uh, very good. Yeah, when That's I started great. out, you know, so I keep on going. Arturo, how do you feel? I feel great. It's been really good for me being able to exercise and to walk and doing the steps. And the steps, yes. Your average is 17,000 steps wow. a day. Wow. 17,000 that... steps a day. You're active. You're on the move. We have Lee. There she is. Yeah, how are you feeling? I feel good. <laughs> that's well, that's the whole point of this, isn't it? Let's see how the numbers stack up. Well, Lee, your daily average is 13,000 wow. steps. That is great. That is wonderful. 13,000 steps a day. You're moving. You're out there every day. Congratulations. You are on the move. Thank you. Right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Well, there you have it. Well, hold on a minute, Paul. Let's not forget about our friendly competition. Now I know that each team won three of the challenges. When we added up all of the components of the activity profiles and all those steps, 
to recap this week's scores. With all of those steps, red team added 76,500 points. And 18,000 activity profile points. But let's not forget about that great team challenge, sizzle, sizzle. For that, an additional 35,000 points. Now, before we look at the total, let's see how the blue team did. With their steps, they earned an additional 72,000 points. And with all those activities, another 25,000 points. Adding it all up, I just couldn't believe all of that activity. So without further ado, our grand totals. The red team has earned 499,400 points this season. Incredible. And the blue team, winning by a whisker, 506,200 points. And as the grand prize, after all of their hard work, each of the blue team contestants will be treated to a spa day at the fabulous Naya Spa in Chatsworth, where they can enjoy an invigorating and rewarding day of relaxation and beautification. Oh uh, take care of yourself. But the truth is, when you really look at it, and when you look at all the incredible change each of these contestants has made, there's no question everyone's a winner here. Absolutely. All right. And as we embark on this journey into a lifetime on the move, what better way to celebrate than another adventure together? That's right. We are all going to Catalina. Catalina! Yeah! All right. <laughs> Yay! Nice. I just can't get over how far our contestants have come. And what a great way to cap off this incredible experience. In fact, I'd like to take a moment to thank everyone down here at the historic Cabrillo Beach Bathhouse and all of the wonderful people who welcomed us at all of the spectacular spots we visited around the city of Los Angeles. And really, it's just the beginning for our contestants. And it can be the start of something great for you, too. Absolutely. Let's get out there and get moving together we can find a way to get active and stay active every day. Before you know it, we'll all be... On the Moon! On the Move has really been just great for me. I love it. It's got me outside walking. A lot of good people, and we had lots of fun. This is only the beginning. I want to live a healthy life. I now feel like I'm taking charge of my own health. Well, on the move was great for me. I really needed that. Now, thank you, Dr. Kaiser, for that. I'm so grateful that I am in this program. Do the first thing. For me, I think the first thing at home is putting on my tennis shoes. Get up from wherever you're sitting and get on the move. And I'm going to be healthy and on the move. Find what works for you, and you'll be on the move, too. On the move is going to be for life. It's on the move for life. Walking is the king of exercise.
husband Jacqueline used to say, anything in life is possible and you can make it happen. And right now, let's get on the move. If you haven't been active for a long time, it is important to start out at a low level of effort and work your way up slowly. Beginning slowly will help you become more fit without straining your body. You may want to talk to your doctor if you decide to start a vigorous exercise program or significantly increase your physical activity level. Exercise is safe for almost everyone. If you have a medical condition, exercise may actually improve it. You may want to talk with your doctor about how your health condition might affect your ability to be active. Support for this program was provided by the L.A. Capra Center, empowering older adults to stay as active and healthy as possible. The John A. Hartford Foundation, dedicated to improving the health of older Americans.